to explicit online tutorials to geometry video course now this video course is basically for 2023 jam aspirants but i know that some other people may aspirants that have not written yet they are definitely going to get in touch with these videos all right so um i want you to know that geometry is easy that is why i'm recording this video course and then i'm putting it out for free this video course is stressing my life like it's going to take my time everything for me and then you're not paying for it so the only thing i want you guys to do for me is that now that i've stressed to prepare this course because i remember back then back then in my jam days uh when i was still like coming up i used to have big problems with social media trust me and it started from my secondary school my tutors or my teachers in schools they don't they, they don't have anything upstairs to, to really offer to me you get we struggle that i entered the public school and a very very bad one at that but thank god it's not really affect in a way, it really, really deprived me of some stuff I would have easily known if I had to go to those because my friends that attend private schools, I remember um, there's some stuff that I actually know that I would have easily known. I would not even struggle to know them if I had to go to those. But glory be to God, that one is in the past now. Why am I saying this? I understand that many of you, you had poor secondary school backgrounds. Some of you know where I go to those. Or your tutors, the they did not teach you so much. And the thing is that um, secondary schools, most secondary schools are deficient. When I say they are division, they are division in the sense that if you can't prepare somebody for exams, why are you all in the school? Why are you having a secondary school in the first place? If you can't have good tutors that will teach well, why, why then do you have a school? That's the issue with Nigerian schools. At least they have to set up a body to really be to check these schools because they are really affecting destinies. But all the same, you should be lucky that you have this video course because in this video course, I'm going to take you through stotometry, like from scratch. And trust me, my classes are very, very awesome. You are, you are definitely going to understand. Even though they have sworn for you not to understand anything, you are definitely going to understand. As far as I'm the one that is teaching, it's not pride, it's just the confidence I have in my teaching progress. You can see this teaching stuff. Some people have muscle for fighting, some people have um, um, others, they have their gifted in other words, people can sink. My gift is teaching. So that's why, um, that's the vision behind explicit online trials. What we do is that we help students like you to become better academically. So remember that we have paid classes. The fact that this video is free does not mean that the tutorial is free. I say the fact that the video is coming to you for free does not mean it's your right. It's just you should be happy that we are doing you this favor because um, just imagine the stress I'm going through. You're not paying me to record this full video, everything of the documentary, just for you. The reason why, if you ask, why am I even doing this? That's because I so much, I so much love quality education. Just see that I'm, I'm actually like it's just like my go-to. Help people understand that science is not as hard as it is rated. Because if you are exposed to the right materials, the right information, the right tools, you are definitely going to be good. I don't believe that there's anybody that is dull. You get because even me, I'm not that kind of. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm an average student that just reads. You get. I'm not. You know, some people just feel hard. That's why you bees, bees, bees. No, you know, study. So we have been in process for a very, very long time. We have been cooking. We have been in the process. The, uh, um, where we are today, we are still growing naturally. We have not got anywhere yet. So, why am I saying this? This video is recorded because I love you. I recorded this video, I went through this pain. It's pain, oh, seriously. Like now, I don't know when you are going to watch this video, but now my school just resumed. We just call up Astro Strike. Everybody is jacking, everybody is jacking, but I'm still recording the video because this is what I love doing. My passion is in teaching. That's why I can actually teach. I've taught for eight hours straight up in some leisure centers. I don't get tired. But I remember one of the kids I nearly fainted because I've not eaten. You get. But it's something I love doing. You get. It's just something that God placed in me for the nations. That's why we have. That's why I founded Explicit Online Tutorials. Explicit Online Tutorials is not just about me. It's about you. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, our, our tutorial is expensive. Fine. That's because we are spending a lot on different stuff to make the class effective. We have a lot of stuff that will pay well. We have a lot of stuff to get. So you should register for our paid classes. Yeah, this video course is free, right? But watch it. After watching, you are going to see that man. I can really understand. It's not to one like waste time preparing for jam to score 200 or something. 300 plus is, is, is what? 300 plus is attainable. In 2022, we had 44 students that scored 300 plus. You can do better. You get. So let me tell you how you're going to watch this video course. Number one, make sure you are with your earpiece. It's going to be better. Please, sorry, I did not use my mic. That mic has really stressed me. And so I decided not to use it. So I will not have issues with my mic. I just decided to use my voice and I believe it's audible. I, I would recommend that you use your earphone or anything, any ear um, enhancing device. And then please make sure you don't watch this video course in haste. You get it. It's something you calm down just as if you are in school. When you go to class, 
in a very organized school, you are not allowed to use your photo, you are not allowed to stay distracted. So just get, go and get a new book. Write it EOT Stotrometry book by the Doege. Yeah, let just write everything about this because this is more than coming to talk. You have to do the practical. Now, this, if at any point you don't understand, because see, this means you cannot be um, in um, an inconvenient location that you want to understand. For example, you are in the marketplace, you're just a video. How do you want to understand? It's not going to be possible. So you have to calm down at home, get your book. Um, if it's for you to download the videos ahead with your next sub, do it. Watch them, calm down, write. You get it's a lecture it's not i'm not i'm not coming here to it's not entertainment i'm coming here to teach i'm coming here to to show you the roots should come here to show you the way so you have to calm down get your books right uh, uh, ready you get get your books ready get your books ready put your calculator there if you're using one right as i'm giving you examples writing your book you get if, if at any point you don't understand take the video backwards and i um assure you that if you are going to go through this see, i'm going to make sure i have really, really finished the geometry for you i'm going to scatter it and when you see questions the only way you feel it is because you have forgotten what i thought not as if i did not teach it you get that is so you just go through this video course make sure you're not playing you get make sure you're not playing make sure you go through it i want i want to reach i want to impart so much in people that when i walk around in the street for say uh, if not for the toy game, I would have failed this question in my jam. If not for the toy game, if not for explicit online trials, I wouldn't have like, you get that's the goal. So this is just a way of showing yeah, of making impact in your life. I really, really care about resources. I'm always happy when I see that student blast 300 plus. When they blast you get in 2021, our high score was still 54. Yeah, it's it's glad this is my heart. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Even though you're not joining our trials now, but make sure you join because if this video course can be looted and it's for free, just imagine what the paid class look like. So that's it. So um, go through the videos one after the other. Um, when you go through videos, go and solve questions. That's just the way. There's no that way. No um, knowledge is not power. It's applied knowledge. If you don't take what I'm teaching now to go and check past questions, to answer questions outside there, uh, you're not the, you're not going to understand it very well. You get so, um, listen to the, watch the video, jot, practice questions, last every for our class. That's it. Let's go into stochometry. Now, I need to ask you what is stochometry. <laughs> the thing is that when it comes to definitions, in stocks, I think that are very important. I don't put definitions in my head because, trust me, there is no jam question or there's no wire question. There's no exam body that we ask to define stochometry, but let's just de de define it. It's, um, I think they said it's the, um, derived from two words then. Stochometry means atom, wire metry, metron. Yeah, it's derived from what? It is rubbish, but let's just put it in the uh, We have stochometry. In this one, it means atom. Then we have metron. That means measurement. So, measurement. So, we can say stochometry is the measurement of an atom. That's right. Really. But then, that one does not really that's in my business. And it should not be a business too. So, let's go for basic formulas for A. Because when it comes to stochometry, number of moles is something you cannot run away from. Number of moles, um, I know the, the definition I gave you in your school is complicated, but let me just explain it in a simple way. Just like we have crate of egg, you get crate of egg. A crate of egg contains, I think, 30 eggs. You get, we have, um, we have what? A um, um, bunch of bananas. You know, that can always kind of like group terms, just like a um, bunch of bananas. Is it crate of egg? Dozen of egg contain 12 now. That's just the same way more is more is just like the 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 um the quantity they should be made to represent amount amount of a substance mass or something like that again. So they are basically um, let's go to the basic formula for more because we really really have to understand the whole concept before um we can really understand um uh, for the more and the end. Number one, please take notes. Take notes. Hmm? If you see n, n equals to number of moles. You get, and its SI unit is the mole. That is, you move the e. You get that thing. So in case you see, I'm using n anyway, so you'll not be confused. So let's do the first formula. Number one, number of moles equals to what? The mass over the molar mass of a particular what? Um, chemical spaceship. When I say chemical spaceship, it can be elements or a compound. So here I say, um, in terms of mass, please take it that moles equals to what? Mass over molar mass. 
you get the mass, the unit is grams. One molar mass is grams per mole. That is, you get O, G, O, something like it, G per mole, you get. That's the unit you grab. So please take it that in chemistry, in chemistry, the standard unit for mass is grams. It is in chemistry that we have this unit of mass as kilogram. You get so now when you add this number of we are equal to mass of molar mass, how do we use this? For example, they are giving the mass of a particular um, uh, compound or element, they are giving the molar mass, they ask you for the number of moles. For instance, for, for instance, for um, example, okay, let's let's take you see what is the number of moles contained in 12 grams of or should I say 16 grams of oxygen gas and I give you that O is equal to 16 right now this is a question basic question now you did this what is the number of most remaining 16 grams of oxygen gas please take note that and there are things you have to know when it comes to astrometry for you to be able to answer many questions gas is in um like how do I put it? Um, when you just see something like oxygen gas, eh? you don't see it in its own normal. Eh? This is oxygen atom. Oxygen atom. O2 is now what we call oxygen gas. You get it. So gases are basically the atomic. This is this CL2 is chlorine gas. Do you understand? You grab that just so if you hear gas just so that like there's two here you put f2 fluorine gas you get f3 is what fluorine gas you understand that's how it is so when you say what's the number of moles in oxygen gas the first thing is that we have to bring in we have to remember that this is not just us this is oxygen atom you get this is oxygen molecule oxygen gas you grab so please they when you hear gas put two there you get that's for um okay and then don't go and confuse yourself but when you see something like SO2, this is so for four or zero it's already a gas you get you don't have to put another two again you get it's also a single element when you hear gas you look at CO2 oxygen gas um um O2 bromine gas B R O2 iodine gas iodine to get in fact all halogens they are gases in case you don't know halogens they are several elements like chlorine, fluorine, iodine and the rest you got so now this is the number of molecule, uh, number of moles contain 16 gram of oxygen gas. You get now let's do our formula. Number of moles was given as what mass over molar mass. Please we can be using mn to represent molar mass. Okay. Let me write it somewhere for you. Take mm is equal to molar mass. If we use m, m is what mass. This statement. So what is the number of uh, moles contained in 16 grams of oxygen gas? They are giving us now. Please take note if you are if you are, if you are starting up um, that you are, you are fresher or you are you are a novice when it comes to all these stuff. Please, it's good for you to write parameters as you get. So write what you are given. Hmm? Now say given that, given that, hmm? because they give us this is this 16 gram. Remember, I said the unit of mass. In chemistry is gram. So mass of oxygen gas, mass of oxygen gas is equal to 16 gram. Yes. What about molar mass of oxygen gas? Molar mass of oxygen gas is what? Now we have to look for it. Now remember, the only thing was that O is 16. You already know these values, right? Now this is the molar mass. Remember, a compound then is, for example, you have. Um, uh, why is it? Eh? For a particular element, rather, sorry. This is atomic number, this is mass number. You get. Let me know, let me know. Yeah. If you understand, fine. If you don't understand, let's come back. Molar mass of oxygen gas is what? Now, remember, oxygen gas is what? Giving us O2. And it was that O is 16. O2 is the same thing as O times O. Abi? Or, you can say O2 is the same thing as 2 times O. 
or O2 is empty as O times 2. So see they say it's oxygen gas, and remember that I say oxygen gas is this. You see there is 2 here, and they need us O as 16. It means the molar mass of oxygen gas is 16 times 2. I mean, yes, 16 was given to us as the molar mass. We lift atomic mass of oxygen. You get no, with maybe some other time I'll teach you the difference between relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass. So O now is in this 16. O is for relative atomic mass. But this is not O2. See the graph. Because what they ask us to look for is the number of moles contained in 16 grams of oxygen gas. Oxygen gas, I've already proved that oxygen gas is O2. So the, the molar mass of oxygen gas is this 16. Because this one is for O times 2. That's this two. So imagine we add O3 here, ozone. And the molar mass of O3 will be this O times 3. You get it? If we add O4, and which is not possible, it will be that 16 times 4. Not just for oxygen alone, for other elements too. So, for example, for chlorine now, hmm? for chlorine, if, okay, let me go here right now. Let me come here. Okay, here, yeah, bring the light. Now, let's say here, yeah, chlorine is 25, 25 normally. The relative uh, atomic mass, you know all these stuff, you know all these stuff. Yes. Go and look for our uh, test for gravity, the first 20 elements and their um, relative atomic mass assignment. Please go and do that, go and do that. In case you actually don't know these stuff, go and, go and search it online and learn it so that you follow following up. So, chlorine is normally 25.5, but this is chlorine what? Atom, because it's one. Chlorine gas now, eh? how do you get the uh, relative at, uh, molecular mass? It's 35.5 times this two. Check that. Uh -huh. So, I know that some of you are watching this video, maybe you are in this one or uh, you are not really, really, they don't teach you, so I just had to break it down so that you don't have any cause to follow. So, let's come back here. Molar mass of oxygen gas, oxygen gas is O2. So, since there is 2 here, O is 16, to now be 2 times 2, that's 32. You get 32 what? Gram per mole. Remember, like I said the unit of molar mass is gram per mole, right? Now, we have done this. I will done with the question, in fact, we are not going to this. Now the question is what is the number of moles contained in 16 grams of oxygen gas? So it means number of moles is equal to what? Mass over molar mass. What is mass? 16 grams. What is molar mass? 32. If you do your mass, you discover this is 0.5 mole. That's the answer. So it means in 16 grams of oxygen gas, we have 0.5 mole. You get number of moles there is 0.5 mole. It's as simple as that. Check it out. So we are seeing this first one that mass over molar mass equals number of moles. You get and please take it. Let's do something different. Please, I don't know why people Let's do something different. Now, the thing that our uh, um, exams, you don't expect them to give you anything very really simple. If it's this simple, everyone will have discovered like 360. Yeah, you get you know, remember now that number of moves here goes to mass over molar mass. Or we can also collect like things, or we can also like uh, console. We can say mass is equal to number of moves times molar mass. Right, it is correct. That's it, it is correct. How? This is number of moles equals to mass over molar mass. If you cross multiply, mass times one gives us mass. N times one, N is number of moles times one. So it means from this same formula, you can look for what? Mass. What about molar mass? We can also look for molar mass. You get it. Let's do it again. Now, number of moles goes to mass over molar mass, Abi. Abi. Now, um, there's a short way for doing this. You can easily say, can switch it and say molar mass is equal to mass over number of moles. But let's just follow the long methods so that someone will not get confused. Because when you play also, so you now have this thing that mass, eh? mass is equal to what? Number of moles times molar mass. But what do you want to make to stand in the molar mass? So, what do you do to remove, to make molar mass stand in the You divide both sides by n. You get n. So, we now have that molar mass. Is equal to mass over number of moles. You get it. So it means for the, from this one equation uh, that number of moles equals to mass over molar mass, we now have that mass is equal to number of moles times molar mass, and molar mass equals to mass over n. So it means you can either look for mass, number of moles, or molar mass from this equation, but you just have to change it. You have to, you have to look for, you have to make what you are looking for. The subject of the formula is as simple as that. You get that it. That does it. So, but please say you can only for two things at the same time with this one equation. So, for you to look for molar mass, it means you must know these two. You get for you to look for the mass, it means I must give you these two, or you must know it. For you to look for number of moles, it you must know this. You can only for two things when you are given one parameter. I don't know if you get. So that's just for my logic. So let's take another question now. Remember, we have used this first one. 
to have established the fact that number of months goes to mass over molar mass. Let's take example two. For instance, they say, what is the mass? What is the mass of 32 gram of super four like SO2? Sorry, or sorry for my Or 0 0.01 mole of SO2. Again, the line given that S equals to 32, hmm? or C equals to 16. Good question. And it's very, very easy. Very, very. Now, these are going very, very deep. Like, why is it deep? Why making this thing very simplified? Because we have not started what we are about to do. We are not starting to do but I want to give you a very, very strong foundation so that when we start going deep, you will not have any issues. You will not complete that you don't understand. You get it. Now, what is the mass of 0 0.01 mole or SO2? Now, I said the first thing is to, is to write out the parameters that you are giving. Given that, right? Given that the number of mole here, this is the number of mole, is equal to 0 0.01. So it means they give us the number of mole. Fine. Now we are looking for what? Mass. Because they say what is the mass. It means we are looking for the mass. Then the third thing they give us here that we can look for. Now, the thing is that most times, in fact, 99% of the time, they will not only state the value of the molar mass in the question. They are not going to tell you uh, what is the mass of the molar mass. The molar mass is this. No. From, they believe that from giving you the formula on its own, eh, you are supposed, like, supposed to be able to calculate what? The molar mass, or even from giving you all these values, s equals to 32, o is equal to 16, you can actually um, um, what, calculate what the molar mass. Let's do it now. I, I just believe all of you that are watching this video, you know how to calculate for molar mass because I've not gone deep to see that. So, go and look for go and you can search your textbook, it's very, very easy. So, but let's just do it basically. I hope you understand. Let's look for cal um, calculate molar mass now. Molar mass of it because for us to be able to get a uh, mass. Uh, we, are, we need to get the molar mass because we cannot look for two things at the same time. Because we don't have pain, we don't have this. So we can actually get this. So I can, you know, remember I said you cannot look for two things. You only look for one thing, they give you two, two stops from that equation. Right? Now, molar mass of SO2 is the same thing as mass of. Um, uh, we need to have a little mass of S plus. Because SO2 is made up of S plus O2. You get. For example, now what is S? The day S is 32. Abi, what is oxygen? Oxygen is 16. But do we put 16? No. We are seeing 2. So it will not be 16 times this 2. And we get 16. 16 is the related to the amount of oxygen. Just know it. Times this 2. This will not give us 32 plus 32 because this kind of 32. Now you have 64. It means the molar mass of what? SO2 is actually what? It's actually what? 64. Get yes. the molar mass of SO2 is actually what? 64. That's that is just how it is. Molar mass of SO2 is just what? 64. Now, let's name it here so we have space. We have only got too much out. 64 was 64 gram per mole. That's the unit. So remember that we have given us the molar mass. We have already calculated that what? 64. Um, move. You understand, right? So now, remember the question what is the mass? Now, remember, number of moles equals to mass over molar mass. Abi? And if you go to multiply, you will not get that, eh? You will not get that mass is equals to number of moles times molar mass. Abi? Mass now is equals to what is the number of moles? They said um, 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Times what? What is the molar mass? 64. The mass is now what? This should be 0 0.64. Let me check that later. Uh, go back to confirm. 0 0.01 times 64. Yeah, 0 0.64. So we have 0 0.64 words. Grand. So you understand? So it's the same formula we are still dwelling on. But this time we are going to look for mass from the same formula. So let's do a third example. And this is very one. If you are following, you don't understand, just take it back. Let's look for example 3. Use the same first formula of number of moles. Yes. So remember, the, 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 this formula, we can say number of moles equals to mass over molar mass. Or mass is equals to number of moles times molar mass. Or molar mass is equals to mass over number of moles. You get It's as simple as that. So let's look for example 3. Example 3. Calculate 
the molar mass of a sample of gas. Okay, should I say of a chemical species? Chemical species X. Which or uh, that's a which contains zero point five mole of X and has a mass of two grams. See now, this one is using the third case, right? Third case. Now, um, this is the um. Molar mass, okay, with another chemical species X, which contains a compared mole of X and has a mass of 2 gram. Very, very easy. Remember, molar mass, we are looking for molar mass, is equal to what? Mass over number of moles. What is the mass they are giving? So, what is the number of moles? 0.5. So, divide by 0.5. 4 gram per mole is what the molar mass. So, hope I will be able to show you how you can use just this one formula to solve for either number of moles. Mass of molar mass. Remember, they always give you two. Two be known, one will be unknown. You can only put two unknowns. Yeah, it's not some general equation with that. So that's it. So let's go to the second formula for what number of moles. Formula for number of moles. Sorry. Second formula for number of moles. Number two. Number of moles equals to volume at first degree or unknown volume over 2 to 400 centimeter cube. And we say this, this volume is in cm cube. Or else in or n equals to volume at first degree in dA. So this is the second formula. Now n equals to volume at S T. Please take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Volume at S T P is also equal to unknown volume. You get so I mean that's not equal and unknown volume of a gas or anything. You get. Now this is it. Now n equals to volume at S T P or unknown volume. In CM cube over 2 to 400 cm cube or n equals to unknown volume of volume at STP in dm cube all over 2.4 dm cube now let me for let me get the difference now the difference is the unit of the volume that is being used for instance if they ask what is the volume of 120 cm cube of a particular substance hmm? now since the the value they are calling the question is 120 cm cube if you want to do it use the form the this um, the volume they are calling you get because that volume they are calling is the volume at STP or it can later can be the unknown volume you get or no volume you get but when we start solving some questions you will see how it works so what I'm trying to say is that you look at the question if the volume in the question is given cm cube this is the formula is used the one that has cm cube so you, you you do actually do you do what the same the same so check is the unit in the question if they are giving you Decimeter cube that's dm cube. Mm? Use this one that's over 2.4. So if they give you in cm cube, don't go and put the value here and divide it. In. No, because they are not the same. You get there has to be a conversion, but you can choose the one you have to use. I don't know if you understand. So let's go to examples. Examples. What is the number of moles? Contained in fifty six dm cube of a gas X. It's a very easy question. Now I'm looking for um let's 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 solve solution. You get given that right number of moles. You know what is it give to us? Volume 
Either you don't measure your SDP, that's the normal SDP. Physicist DMQ. Hmm? Then we are looking for what? Number of moles. Abi? Now, what is the formula? Number of moles equals to volume at SDP. Or if you say volume given, I don't want to just come, just know that this, this is the of it. Volume given all over what? What are we doing now? 22.4 DMQ. Why? This thing was given in DMQ. So we use the one that has the MQ. You get so it's now 56 over 2.4. The MQ point meter 56 divided by 2.4 is what 2.5. It means we have 2.5 moles. So one of the wrong things, one of the things you should never try is now trying to do 56 divided to 2 to 400. Why? It's not correct because this is in DMQ. So use the formula that has the MQ. You get so let's solve for example two. So what actually determines formula you should use is the unit that is given the question. If the volume unit is given in DMQ, use the one that has to do with the DMQ, just like that. So let's see example two under this uh, second formula for number of moves. Example three. Oh, sorry. Example three. What is the number? Now, for this question, they now ask us, they say they take as S. Because I look for volume. So, the question is, what are the pressure formula that we use? Do we use this one or this one? The question is, because this particular question does not specify. Now, if you are giving options, and then you have other than your options, all the answers, all the options are in CMQ, it means common sense will tell you that, okay, let's look for the answer in CMQ. If you check your options, you are seeing all the answers in DMQ. Common sense will tell you, let's look for the answer in DMQ. 
But since it's not stated, we can actually use anyone we like. Any one of them, but we should know the unit that's going to give to us. Now, just as that number of more equals to mass of molar material cross multiply, that's thing we can cross multiply here. You can now say volume, right? Volume at STP is equal to number of moves times to 400 CMQ. That's if you are using CMQ. Remember, this volume will calculate, we still be in CMQ. So the volume goes to what number of moves? 0.005 times 2 to 400. Right, yeah, 0 0.005 times 2 to 400. That's 112 cmq. See, that's for the volume. You grab. You see, I'm putting the, the, the units where you get. You know, we also saw this like, I'm doing something like this. You know, this this is how we use this one. Let's use this one. If you're going to do that, you give the same value, the same formula. I mean, then, but you're going to be 2.4 dmq. So, this volume. What's the map of 0 0.005 times 22.4 dm cube? You see the difference now. So you have 0 0.005 times 22.4. That's I'm gonna have 0 0.112 dm cube. You get so both of them are actually what's correct. So but in test if they want it, if you are looking for dm cube, look give them dm cube, they're looking for cm cube, give them cm cube. They don't tell you check the options. To the direction of what to do. So let's go to the third formula for number of moves. Third formula for number of moves. When it comes to geometry, third formula is that number of moves is equal to number of particles over what of Avogadro's. Constant. I'm pretty sure you guys think there's number of particles over 6.0 to 10 times power 23 because that's the value for Avogadro's constant. So if you ask you what is the number of molecules, if this thing has the number of molecules, number of particles, number of anything, you get this is the formula. Number of moles is equal to number of particles over Avogadro's constant, and Avogadro's constant is. 6.02 times 10 is power 23. So just put that value here. So just as the same way we have, you know, you can actually like cross multiply. You can have number of particles. It's just number of mass. It goes to what? N times Avogadro's constant. This mass from in that I think. Uh, and I mean, do Avogadro like that? N times 6.02 times 10 to power 23. That's number of particles. Just in case, you see, they, you can look for it. You just want to know how to change size of formula. You understand? So this is just so they can ask you a question. For example, example one. Example one. What is the number of particles contained in? Everybody has a 
That just is it's very easy, right? So that's it. This will be four formula for number of moves. We we'll just about this four because these are the four we're going to be using as our stichometries of sign. Okay, so number of moves. Though. So the fourth one is that number of moves is equal to CV when B is seen CMQ over one thousand. Or n equals to CV, just like that. When B is in DMQ, do you understand the difference? Yes. Let me write what C means. C means concentration in more part DMQ, right? Why V means volume in either centimeter cube. We get it's just like that. That's the second formula that we gave the number of moves equals to um, um, volume of or volume at STP over 2.4 400. The difference is the units you get. So, if the volume here is given CMQ, we use over 1000 in the question. If the volume is given DMQ, we just do CV. So, number of moves equals to CV over 1000. That is if the volume is in CMQ. Or the number of moves goes to CV, that's if the volume is in DMQ. It's very, very easy to. And you can also do change of, uh, what is it called? Change of solid formula. C can have this, you can look for C, you can look for anything there. You get, I believe we already know this. We already used to this. So let's do to, let's take it up for one here. What is the number of moves present? In the first interview of a solution of the middle one, more part DMQ or situation. Please state that this condition in more part DMQ is also called the molarity. And you can give they can give it in move to get big M. So if it's something like 0 0.01 mole like this, this big M, it says MC as condition. You get please take note. Take note I not say molality. Please look at the spelling. Molarity. So this is the question. Now let's just read that let's be believing giving out. I believe we have we have we have understood all these stuff, right? So let's go N is equal to C V over one thousand. Only if V is in what CMQ or is equal to CV like that is C is in DMQ. In this question, V is in what CMQ. Let's mm -hmm. do this one, okay? So that's it. So there's the game was that what V is what 25 CMQ mm -hmm. and C is 2.01 move per DMQ. So I don't know N. So N is in what? What's C? 0.01 times what? 25 
over 1000. Why are we using 1000? Because this thing is in CM cube. So we have 0 0.01 times 25 divided by 1000. So we have 2.5 times 10 to the minus 4. So we have 1000. Here's how easy it is. We get. Let's share your question. What if this is 2.5 dm cube of a solution? Then you get there will not be dm cube. Same procedure. You see, that time we will not, we'll not use this, this formula again. We will not say n is equal to just cp because this b is in dm cube. So n equals to what? What? Um, this is 0 0.1 times b25. That's So you get the different term. So the over 1000 is coming when you have CMQ. You get you don't use the over 1000 if you have CMQ. So let's see so I've drawn two more examples. You get let's um, go to example two. Let's go to example two. Example two says what So this one was specific in DMQ. Remember the base formula is n is equal to C V because it's in DMQ. If it was CMQ, now we see over 1000 B, but where is CMQ, we know that. I remember they gave us C. I said this thing is, I said this can have been move at any from M. This is 0.05 M. N is what? 2.5 moves. So I think of V. So this actually has 2.5 is equal to 0.05. So 2.5 all over 0 0.05 is going to be you get 2.5 divided by 0 0.05. The next B is going to what? 50 dm cube. That's just it's very 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 easy. You get so you can go on and on. The only thing just remember that if B is in cm cube, use about 1000. If it's in dm cube, don't use about 1000. Right. So those are the four basic formulas you have to. Put in mind when it comes to number of moves. So now on to the next. <coughs> we are going to talk about I mean we have talked about four different formulas on number of moves. Now let's do combination. I guess let's see how you can combine no most times the questions you will see they will not be as simple as the ones I've been treating. You get there are some that will be tougher. You grab. So let's talk about combining formulas. Remember the four formulas of number of moves we have drawn. The first one is number of moves goes to mass over molar mass. Right? We also have number of moves it goes to volume at STP or no volume over 22.4 dm cube. That's if this volume is a dm cube, right? Or volume at STP in cm cube all over. 2400 cm cube. That was number two. Number two, we also say n equals to what? Cv over 1000 if the volume is cm cube. Or n equals to Cv if the volume is cm cube. Then the fourth one, we actually said n equals to what? 
number of particles or number of substance or number of anything all over 6.02 times 10 to the power 3 which is the same thing as our garlic constant now remember these are all formulas for number of formulas just for example if I say um, let's do something if I say Mr. A is a boy have you? and Mr. B is a girl oh this is this is a girl Mr. A's brother will be a dash is it a boy or a girl? it's obviously a boy because we want brother just like saying okay his name is Mr. Ola eh? his name is Mr. Ola they will now also say that Mr. Ola is the principal so can I say okay if, can I say oh, for example Mr. Ola is very strict and Mr. Ola is the principal I can see the street man is the principal it's just like common sense so since number of points goes to this number of points goes to this goes to this or this, this we can actually combine one or and we can combine two formulas to give number of moves. For instance, yeah, number of moves goes to mass of molar mass. Have we? Mass of molar mass. Eh? And number of moves also equals to what? Let's use the second one. Volume at STP. All over 2.4 DMQ. Assuming this volume at STP is in DMQ. You know, we can also say number of moves, uh, sorry, mass of molar mass. That's this one. Is equals to volume. At STP all over 2.4. Do you get how do we get it? We just combine two formula. He said, okay, since this is number of this number of more, you equal it. You get that thing you can equalize any two or you can you can equate rather any two of these equations or formulas or number of moves. It's just as simple as that. Do you get so it means we can also have that this mass of uh, this uh, I'm sorry, C V over 1000 is equal to mass of molar mass because CV over 1000 is a formula for number of moles and mass of molar mass is formula for number of moles it's something like so you can combine any two you grab you can combine any two so you don't have to break down you don't have to waste time to be solving individually so you can combine any two at all sure you get it now it's very very easy it's as easy as that so let's um let's see some questions please hold on let's briefly take some questions um, I have some questions that I prepared in this phone. Um, I'm coming. Let's go down. So you get, so you can combine any two formulas for what number of moves. That's just how it works. Very, very easy. Very, very, very easy. You get. Alright, so I'm almost there. This is that. Hold on. Let's get some so classwork here. Alright. Yes, I've got some one. Let's do some classwork on this combination. So the basic here is that since number of moves equals to it, all these four formulas, you can combine any two. So you can also say number of particles over 6.02 exponential or 10 times power 10 3 is equal to mass of You get just combine them based on what you're looking for. Do you understand? So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. The first question here is that. Um, okay. Should we call it example now? Example one. The volume of forty gram of XO two is such. Give it that x equals to 32 and equals to 16. Solution. Given that, remember, we're giving something. Given that mass is equal to what? 40 gram. Right? Then they give us case 2 From this, you can actually calculate. Remember, I told you that whenever they give you all these stuff, you can actually calculate the molar mass of SO2. So let's get molar mass of SO2. Now, S2 is in class S plus O2. S is 32. O is 16 times this 2 times 2. So it's equal to 32 plus 2, that's 64. 
Δεν με τίποτα μάλλον πες ότι είσαι στη φόκα. Λες, σίγουρα σε δεις πεις. Και μου στείλει μου λάμμας. Έτσι το τσου. Έτσι το τσου. Στη φόκα. Λίγεται. Για άσχε να σου λίγω φορβόλιο. So, you can actually use my formula. We have to combine. So, what the formula that I want to combine that will give us what you are looking for. First of all, we need a number of moves goes to mass or formula mass. Right? And also, there's a number of moves goes to volume and SDP. Or should we say on new volume? On new volume over 2 to 24 GMQ. Or 2 to 400 GMQ. So, see, it's a number of moves over mass. So, we can actually equate and say mass or formula mass. Equals to unknown volume over 2 to 0.4. You get cross multiply. We now have that unknown volume is equal to mass times 2 to 0.4 dm cube, right? All over molar mass. You just wait. She just. I, I I just do it. Did it fast. So you can actually do yours. Break it down. Just make unknown volume the size of the formula. You get the answer. So no volume because what's the mass? 40 times 2.4. All of our molar mass is what? 64. So let me add the calculator. Let me use my phone. So that's 40 times 2.4 divided by 64. So we have 16 dm cube. So that's the no volume. That's the volume of SO2. Do you understand? Can you see how easy it is? So it's, it's very, very easy. It's just about combining one or two, sorry, um, two formulas of number of moves to get what you're looking for. You understand? So that's it. Let's go to number. Let's solve um, three more examples or four more examples. Let's solve four more examples. Let's solve four more examples. Let's go for example two. So remember the four formulas of number of moles, you can combine any of them. Example 2. It says the concentration of 24 dm cube of CO2 is dash. Give it that mass of CO2 is equal to 10 gram. C is equal to 12. Let's, let's go. Okay. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for concentration, right? I mean, they give us very much on the 4 dm cube. They will give us mass of CO2 as of 12 gram. You get. So, what, remember that number of moles equals to CV. Should we say over 1000 now? No, because this thing is in dm cube. If it was in cm cube, we we'll would not do 1000. It goes to CV and it goes to mass over molar mass. So, we can actually combine both and say CV. It goes to mass over molar mass. We don't know molar mass yet, but we can look for it right now. So that's we know the formula for the uh, this thing. So CO2 is in just C plus O2. C is giving us um so if you 10 plus O times 2, I mean that's 16 times 2. So CO2 is 12 plus this is what 32. So it goes to 24, right? So it means molar mass. Of CO2, it was a 44 gram per mole. So you see, this is the formula. We have it equal C, right? So C, I mean, times V was V, 24. It was to mass, what is mass? 12 over 44, right? So let's do 12 divided. Yeah, they are supposed to do this thing, but I don't know how, how, how fast you guys are in mass. So 12 divided by 24 is 0 0.2 something something. So C times 24. It goes to 0 0.2727 blah blah blah. Divide by what is 24, right? To make C to stand alone. So it means C is equal to 0 0.014 per dm cube. Or 0 0.014 per That is it. That is how you get it. Very, very simple question. Just understand the parameters. They can combine two formulas for number of moles. Be able to get an equation you can use. How do you combine the formulas? Look at what you are given. You guys, it is the part that are given the question that will determine which formula they are going to combine. You get. So I'm going to solve five examples in four. We have solved two now. Okay. 
this move to raise up with Tilly. Raise up with Tilly. And I'm going to see the number of particles present in 800 cm cube of a certain group cis gas is that. I love this one. So let's go. Solution. And eh? they give given that volume to the on your CMQ. Right? I mean, we are looking for the number of particles, right? So we are looking for the number of particles. So number of particles. We don't know. Right. Now what formulas what formula has for me? Two formulas have for me, number of moles. Let us see B over one thousand. Or volume at STP or no volume over 2.4. But which one do you use here? You have not here like position. So remember, number of moles equals to volume at STP or given volume over 2 to 400 cm cube. Why am I using cm cube now? Because this is the cm cube. So let's not waste time. And also, volume equals to what? Number of moles equals to what? Number of particles, right? Over 6.0 to 10 to the power 20. You see, so this is the these are the formula that we combine now. Now we give this rule. This is 800 in the question over two to 400. It was number of particles. That's what we're looking for. Number of particles all over 6.0 to the second respect. So if we can multiply, we now have something like number of particles equals to 800 times 6.0 to 10 to the power 23. All over two to four hundred. Only again, my calculator cannot point this in my phone. Let's see. Okay, that is eight hundred times six point zero two. Uh, is there a power in this calculator? Okay, let's do that. This let's do power divided by two to four hundred. So we now. Have 0 0.215 times 10 to the 10th degree. You get, you can use a computer, you get the answer straight up. You can have a computer, so if I'm to take one here, you get that would be um, 2.15 times 10 to the 10th You get that number of particles. And that's in 24 weeks. Um, Come let me read them with my person. Okay, yeah. Two point five times ten to the power twenty two. You get that's that's it. That's because without you can use a calculator. You can use a calculator. So that's the number of uh, particles. Yeah, that's it. So let's go to the example four. So you get the logic. I believe you have, you have understood this thing by now. All these more examples, they are just there to help you so you find knowledge. Because we need this when we start. We have not started too much with the way I want to. We are just in the place of laying foundations. We are laying foundation for the topic. Example what now? That was example what? Today. Let's go to example 4. Example 4. The mass. Of 3.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of SO2 is dash. Okay. Given that S is equal to 32, oxygen is to 16. I love this question too. But they are all simple. Now, given that what number of what? Atoms go to 3.02 times 10 to the power right? And then uh, so we are looking for the mass and the molar mass of SO2. We have calculated this many times to 64. So, what formula do we combine? You see, number of 
atom or particle, whatever, over 6.2 times 10 to power, you get equals to mass over molar mass. So you are looking for mass, right? So if you can multiply, get a mass is equals to number of atoms times molar mass all over 3.02 times 10 to power 23. What's the number of atoms here? 3.02 times 10 to power 23 times molar mass 64. All over 6.02 times 10 to power 23. You get. Let me. Uh, okay. If you. Yeah, we can do this one. This one has 0 0.5 times 64. Like, divide it and you have 0.5. That is 32 gram. So the mass of that guy is 32 gram. It's as simple as that. Very, very simple. You get. So the basic thing is just what I'm trying to make you understand is combination of. Any of the two, any two formulas of number of moons. Let's do for example five. Then we know we are done with this. Example five. Okay. Example five. What is the volume of 200 gram of quick lamp, cash and water. Give that cash and water is 40 and who is this thing? Right, we are looking for the volume. They gave us mass. We are looking for volume. Now, can I calculate molar mass? Why? CaO is equal as for, um, Ca plus O. Ca is 40, O is 16, so we have 56 here. So if minimum that mass goes to 56 gram per mole, right? So you know, you know, like you can combine this formula. Mass of molar mass is equal to the volume at STP, which we are looking for or no volume over 2.4 dm cube. What is the mass? 200. What is the molar mass? 56. We are looking for this volume you get and this 2.4. It means volume if you multiply it is equal to 200 times 2.4. All over 56. Then we keep on the calculator. Coming. So we have 200 times 22.4 divided by 56. So the volume is 80 dm cube. So guys, that's it. We have come to the end of this part. Chase, you can combine any two formulas for number of moves. Just know what you are doing. You get no more into ECM cube and dm cube. You get so that just. All right. So let's take TV class works. Uh, from past questions on this more concept that I've talked about, right? Um, let me write them on the board. Okay. Last words. Yes, we just. I don't want to write three questions. If I write three, I'm not supposed to solve, so I'll just write one and answer. Well, it's just the writers I'm writing. If one mole of aluminium, aluminium, no, no, as we have to say, aluminium contains, is writing six times ten to power twenty-three atoms.
Dyson to have been three. So number of atoms, what's the mass there? 0.9 mass. And we have to touch out confused. Mass times 6.0 to 10 to power 23 all around molar mass. What is the mass? 0 0.9. 6.0 to 10 to power 23 all around 27. Alright. Let me use the calculator. 0 0.9 and 6.0 to 10 to power 23 divided by 27. So we have 2. 0.01 10 for what? 22 atoms. And that is what option C you get. So let's move to example 2. It's a very class of 2 sharp, but I'll just. He said the volume of 2.5 moles of oxygen. Uh, STP is A 56 dm cube B 84 dm cube C 50 dm cube D 28 dm cube A molar volume of a gas at STP is what? 2.4 dm. You see, this thing doesn't really concern you. Anything concerns you. Okay, let's go for the solution. It's easy. Now, they are giving us the number of moles as 2.5, right? And they are still looking for the volume of oxygen. <laughs> it's not too easy. Remember that number of moles goes to volume at STP, right? All about 2.4 dm cube. And they are giving us the solution for this. Again, okay, let's put it here 2.5 equals to volume. All over 2.4 dm cube. So now, if we multiply, we have the volume equals to 2.5 times 22.4. That is what? Uh, 2.5 times 22.4. 56. We have 56 dm cube. See, this is a very simple case. Just straightforward formula with number of moves. That's how we got A. You get the of the third one, which is. The most complex actually. That does not mean she's scary, it's not hard. It's only complex. Not all complex questions are actually hard. Okay, number three. Say the number of hydrogen ions in 4.9 gram of also sulfate 6 acid is let me let me click tab the options okay 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 D is what? 6.02 times 10 raised to the power 23. Give me that S is 32, O is 16, H is 1. But now give you a Bogardius constant as the value. All this will not be giving you all this stuff. So. Alright, so let's, let's solve. Um, Okay, it's, it's a very easy, but many persons will face this question if they are in the army. Now, remember the same thing with the number of hydrogen ions, not the number of hydrogen atoms you get. You grab. Uh, then first, let's look for the number of moles because the acid in question now is so is for so, if you if you um associate this we have H plus is equal to minus. This is to us like. This is the ionic equation, but this is just like the ionic breakdown for this guy. So it means two um, hydrogen ions we form with, with we add with one um, then sulfate six ion to form H S O four. Okay, so we are asking us to look for the number of hydrogen ions here, not the number of this guy, neither the number of hydrogen you get. So for the first, let's look for the number of moles 
of H2SO4 that will be formed, you get, from this setting, you get the number of moles. Now remember, H2SO4, please take that the molar mass is 98. You get, let's, let's prove it. H2SO4 is equal as H2 plus S plus O4. H is 1. You get 1 times this 2. I mean, plus 32 for, for this thing. 16 T times 4. You get. So we have 2 plus 32 plus 48. V48. 16 times 4. 16 times 4. Okay, 64, sorry. 64. You get. This is actually what? 34 plus 64, which is 98. So the molar mass of H2SO4 is 98. You get. Now, so now we have the mass of H2SO4. Mass is 4.9 gram. Molar mass of H2SO4 is 98. So we can calculate number of moles. Have it? Number of moles one is mass over molar mass. That is 4.9 over 98. So 4.9 divided by 98 is 0.05 moles of what? H2SO4. That will be formed. You get. No, so if you don't understand this thing, don't bother too much. This, this stuff is the next thing I want to explain, and that's mass, mass problem or anything related. So, in case you don't understand. Now, this is the number of moles of H2SO4 that is formed. You get. The number of moles of H2SO4 that is formed. But they have to for the, no the number of hydrogen ions in terms of Avogadro's size. So we have to look for the number of this guy. So what you just compare is that um, now one mole of H2SO4 produces two moles of hydrogen ion. Therefore, 0.05 moles of H2SO4 will produce S more of this ion. Two times this guy is 0.1. So it means we have 0.1 moles of hydrogen ion that will be what formed. Then remember, so if you don't understand, don't worry, you understand as we move on. Number of moles equals towards number of particles or number of ions or whatever over 6.02 times 10 to 23 this is what we are looking for Abby. so remember let's bring, it, let's bring it here what is the number of moles we have gotten it as 0.1 number of particles that's what we are looking for you get let's call the number of ions over that is constant so it means the number of ions of H plus H plus is giving us what? It's giving us 0 0.1. Let me write it here. For space. So number of ions of H plus what are sort if you want to multiply 0 0.1 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 3. It's in charge 6.02. Wait, let me check. Yeah, this point is 0 0.02 times 10 to the power 2 ions. You get that's the answer. 6.02 times 10 to the power 2 ions. You get that's the. Well, in case you don't understand, we now go deep into geometry now. So you get to understand questions like this. Alright, so let's go.